Nine-year-old Lara Page took the decision to sell her toys and some other possessions after feeling a need to help alleviate the suffering in Syria. She wanted to help and contribute to the aid efforts. I wanted to sell my toys because I wanted to make some money for Syria because I heard that um, they don't have anything and, they, um, and people mostly die and they don't have any food. I sell some um, dollhouse toys. Um, some stuffed toys um, and some little books. Do you miss them? No. <laughs> How does it make you feel to have changed the toys for money for Syria? Um, happy. Bishop Carmel Smith described Lara as an inspiration to others, saying there was no limit as to what could be done with imagination. He gave her a book in which he wrote a personal message and the charity's activity reports so she could appreciate what she was contributing to and the work that was being carried out in Syria and Damascus. I asked him whether, although traditional to give things up over Lent, it was perhaps more important to give. Yeah, this is a question of being generous, no? Because when Lent comes, many people think of giving something up, like sweets, cigarettes, drink, food, whatever it is. But if you just do that and no benefits come out of it, then it's not something that pleases God. We find that in the Bible, no? What's the point of your fasting if you continue to go against the widow and the orphan and that sort of thing? So really, as you put it quite well, it's not just giving up something, but that giving up leads to giving something to somebody else. And... Uh, when the Pope spoke about this, he said, fasting means nothing unless from that fasting something good develops. And that good is to contribute where people are suffering, where people are being discriminated, where people are not being given what they deserve. You know, we should all have a good life, we should all enjoy our life, but we know millions are not doing that. And the Christians are called upon in Lent to do something special. Anyone wishing to help the Church in Need program can hand in donations at any church or to any priest.